Hi, welcome to duality optimization. Here, the duality optimization is viewed as two perspectives. One will be primal problem and the another one will be dual problem. Here, the support vector machine is defined in two different approach that primal problem and dual problem format. So, here both will provide similar optimization result and which solves quadratic equations. But the both approaches are entirely different in the uh, in solving. So, here uh, we will see the primal form uh, definition which is called constrained minimization problem which is classifying the data points by transforming from lower dimension into high, higher dimension by adding the relevant features. When you are transforming the data from lower dimension into suppose if we are having x1 and x2 then which is transforming into x1, x2, x3, x4 so four features so here your dimension is very much increasing the data sets dimension is very much increasing so here this problem can be expressed into a maximization problem also that we will see later uh, since we are having uh, we are having more number of features right here which is uh, not needed kernel trick uh, to apply to the data set uh, when the data set is large and also the dimension of the each data point is very small so in this these are the uh, uh, features of primal form problem and dual form problem is called maximization problem which is uh, convex problem and also which is using a uh, Lagrangian multipliers to solve the equations uh, that uh, constraints may have equality constraints and if constraints are having inequality constraints we can go with KKT uh, theorem and the dual problem is providing lower bound to the primal problem so here this is maximization problem so uh, since it is maximization problem, it will have upper bound and lower bound. So, this is provide you the uh, lower bound to the minimization problem. Solving the dual problem is very easy than solving the primal problem. So, that is the important one we will follow in the uh, support vector machine instead of uh, using the primal problem uh, format, we will select dual problem uh, format. If the, if the problem is given in the primal problem, then we will convert that primal problem into dual problem format. So, the dual problem uh, form will be uh, considered for huge dimension. So, here the diamonds, uh, dimension will be uh, decreasing uh, dimension will be uh, uh, having uh, less dimension but here uh, we will have a uh, huge dimension of data so we need to apply the kernel trick so here the no why we are converting uh, the lower dimension to higher dimension in the sense if the data is non-linear we need to uh, transform the lower dimension into higher dimension that's why we are going to uh, applying the transformation but we will have the uh, low dimension data when comparing to the uh, dual form problem data set. So when we, we are having the huge dimension like um, 100 uh, uh, features or 1000 features then the dimension of the data set is very uh, very huge so at that time uh, we have to use kernel trick. When we are using the kernel trick the dual problem will be uh, uh, better than primal problem. So now we will see the example in the next video. Thanks for watching.